Hello everyone, I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain HPMC giving you a closer look at the SuperTech M10 helmet from Alpine Stars. All right, so today we're giving you a closer look at the all new SuperTech M10 helmet coming from Alpine Star. So this helmet is over five years in the making. They debuted it in the 2018 Supercross season. And I have to admit, Alpine Stars, these guys came out swinging with this helmet. It is packed full of features, so hunker down, because we've got a lot to talk about today. They did a lot of rigorous testing in their own race development center. They want to make, obviously, the most protective, advanced helmet on the market, but also keep it very lightweight, comfortable, and have a very good venting design. So we're going to go through and talk about all those features, but before we do that, let's talk about fitment real quick. So it's a very comfortable helmet. I've tried it on, fits true to size. Make sure you use the sizing guide on the product page. That'll ensure that you know what size you are going to need. But remember, this isn't a paralyzing, which means if you get this helmet or any helmet that we sell at Rocky Mountain, if you are not happy with the sizing or fitment, send it back to us in brand new unused condition. We want to make sure that you do get the size that you are looking for, so we give free shipping both ways on your first exchange. But with this helmet, something that is very unique that only Alpine Stars is doing right now is they have what they call their A-head fitment system, and I'll show you that more in depth here in just a little bit. But what it allows you to do as the rider is actually change the location of where the upper part of the comfort liner sits inside the helmet to adjust the angle of the helmet. So every rider's head is going to be shaped a little bit different. So if you put this helmet on, initially you have a hot spot in the back of the front of the head, you can adjust that liner to get the fitment exactly how you want it. So it's a very cool system that Alpine Stars is doing. So again, very comfortable helmet. You have four different shell sizes. So what's nice about those different shell sizes is that it allows you to have a better fitment for each size rider or each rider's or head size, excuse me. And also what's cool is that with those different shell sizes is that the EPS liner and the comfort liner is going to be the same in all the different helmets. So it doesn't matter if you have a large, an extra large, or a small, the EPS liner is going to be the same thickness, and that goes for the cheek pads and the comfort liner as well. Again, they're just trying to optimize the fit and make it as good as possible. Now with the helmet, with the shell sizes, okay, we talk about construction, we'll give you a 360 view here. You're going to be DOT and ECE certified. You're getting a multi-composite carbon fiber shell. So it's actually a three-layer shell construction. And like I mentioned earlier, they want to make this helmet very lightweight, which they have done. This is a size large that I have on the table. I have weighed it myself. Size large comes in at three pounds right on the dot. That is a very lightweight helmet for a size large. So if you have even a medium or a small, obviously that's going to be even lighter. So props to Alpine Stars for making this helmet extremely lightweight. Also, with the shell design, okay, it's a very unique shell design. I will admit, when I first saw this helmet, I was kind of on the fence. I couldn't decide if I liked it, if I didn't like it. But now that I see it in person, I'm actually a big fan of the lines and the curves that this helmet has. Nice, sleek, aggressive look to it. But it's also what is cool that Alpine Stars has done is that with the shape of the helmet, you're going to notice that the sides of the helmet are pretty flat. When you look at the top, it's pretty flat on the top as well. So everything has been optimized to help mitigate and reduce forces as much as possible. So we've seen a big emphasis over the years on angular rotation and mitigating those with helmets. So by having these flatter surfaces on the helmet, Alpine Stars is saying that that's going to give more surface area to help absorb and dissipate more energy. That's also going to help slow down those rotational forces. So everything that the way this helmet is constructed is just to help it make it more safe for the rider. So it's very cool. So that's your shell construction, that's your design. We talk about the visor. So you can see with the visor, it sits right here flush with the top of the helmet. So again, that's what I think gives it that nice sleek look. I'm a big fan of that. But what's cool though is that the visor is designed to break off when enough force is applied. So if needed, when enough force is, this will break off. That way you're not adding any additional forces or any additional twisting to the rider's head or to the rider's neck. So this will break off. Now with venting, this was a big emphasis that Alpine Stars put on this helmet. They have a lot of it. So if we look at the chin bar here, you've got these vents on the side of the chin bar, lots of vents on the mouth guard itself. I really like these giant ones that you have right here in the front and get a lot of airflow through. But as you work your way up and look at the top here, so here just above the eye port, you've got multiple vents here. You've got a couple more underneath the visor. If we look at the top, you've got a couple on here in the top, a couple here on the sides. And then when you flip it around and look at the back, you can see you've got a lot of exhaust vents or ports that are going to take that warm air, get it through the EPS liner, which has a lot of different cutouts and a lot of channels to get that air through, and then it comes out the back of the helmet. And also, with that venting, you're going to notice that the visor, what is cool, is that all the cutouts in the visor are working in conjunction with those vents that you just saw. So it's going to channel that air through the visor. You can see they go directly into those vents. So needless to say, you're going to get a lot of airflow with this helmet. Also, it comes hydration ready. In other words, there is a channel that I'll show you here in a little bit when we take the comfort liner out, that if you wear a hydration pack, 
and you have your SIP tube, they give you a way to route that inside the helmet to help hold it secure so you don't have to drill or modify your helmet. So that is the outside again, that's your shell construction, that's the venting design, very cool. Last thing I do want to show you is that here on these sides, so they actually have these collarbone cutouts and you can see you have a lot of space there. I can actually get my entire hand underneath that. So a lot of riders nowadays are wearing neck braces, so that's going to optimize the fitment with the neck brace. So it's not going to mitigate your range of motion as much. But also what I like too is that you will notice that the shell of the helmet comes down, but you can see you've got this light gray gasket down here along the bottom. So the shell of the helmet actually ends where this gasket starts. So right down here at the bottom, you have what's called expanded polypropylene. So it's a different material than EPS. It's a soft material, and by having it there along the edge of the helmet, if you were to come in contact with the rider's collarbone with this part, it's just going to be softer, so it's going to be more absorbent and much less likely to injure the rider's collarbone by having that softer material there. So again, you can just see Alpine Stars, these guys thought about just about everything when it comes to the construction. So that's the outside of the helmet. Now let's take a look at the inside. There's a lot of features we want to show you here. So when we flip it over, First thing you are going to notice is that you've got emergency cheek pad removal system. I'm a big fan of these, so in the event of a crash, it makes it much easier to get these cheek pads out without removing the helmet. And the way you do it is really simple. You have these tabs here, so all you have to do is just pull on those and they just pop right out of the helmet. So very simple to do. do this one over here. So those pop right out. Now, as far as your chin strap goes, so a pretty typical chin strap, you're going to have that D-ring. We see this with a lot of helmets. So open this up. And then the rest, you're going to see you've got your comfort liner in here. Now, this is where you're getting a lot of crazy features, a lot of cool sector technology and safety built in. So I'm going to remove the first part of the comfort liner. So it is a two-piece comfort liner. So pop this out. So you can see there's the outside of the comfort liner. You see you've got this big cutout on the top. And then as you look in the inside here, that is your second piece of the comfort liner that fits at the top of the helmet around the crown area. And like I said, that is adjustable to get a more customized fit. So the way it works, it's kind of hard to see inside there, but you can see you've got the four corners and each corner has these little tabs and these just pop right in and out. So they snap in and out. So what you can do is you can actually take this comfort liner, move it around, okay? You don't have to have it in the same location in the front or the back. So each corner has three different locations that you can snap it in and again, if you adjust that, it will, it, you can adjust the tilt of the helmet where the comfort liner is contacted to the rider's head. You can also even adjust the height of the helmet if you want to. So make sure, utilize that, it, take advantage of that system, move that around to see where it's changing the fitment for you, find what's going to be best for you, and you are good to go. Now, before I take this piece out, what I also want to emphasize on the inside of this helmet is you have a four-piece EPS liner system. So inside this helmet, you have four different pieces of EPS liner of four different densities, and they have put those there to optimize the contact, the amount of absorption that you're going to need in different parts of the helmet. So a four-piece EPS liner design, which I think is pretty cool. So when we pop this out, because like I said, you can pop this right out. Alpine Stars, along with the development of this helmet, they are using the MIPS liner system. I'll explain that here in just a minute. So MIPS liner system, if you've never heard of that, stands for multi-directional impact protection system. And what it essentially is, is a slip liner between the rider's head of the comfort liner and the actual EPS liner of the helmet. Like we talked about earlier, rotational forces, a big emphasis on those with helmets nowadays because you want to mitigate how much the rider's head rotates. So what the MIPS liner system is, is essentially a slip zone and allows the rider's head to slip a little bit inside the helmet to help mitigate those rotational forces. But it's actually an exclusive MIPS liner system that Alpine Stars is using. So you're not going to see this in any other helmet. And the way it works is pretty slick. So you've got this A head adjustment system that we just talked about. But you can see on the top of it, you've got this hard plastic here, kind of the skeleton of that whole liner system. But in between that and the comfort liner, you've got this actual, what they call a Lycra sock. And inside here is actually where that MIPS liner is going to be. So when that MIPS liner contacts this hard plastic skeleton on the outside, that's what's allowing to have that slip zone there. So it's very cool that Alpine Stars is doing that. It's very innovative. And also, the, one of the reasons behind this Lycra sock is a lot of riders talk about with the MIPS liner system from other helmets that when it starts to get moisture or sweat built up, it starts to squeak a little bit. So to mitigate that so you don't have that squeaky noise, that's actually why they put that Lycra sock over top of that MIPS liner. So that's your A-head adjustment system again here, right here. You see those snaps, that's what I was, that's what I was referring to. 
So you just take those snaps, pop them in, and again, you can adjust the fit of the helmet. Now there's a few more things on the inside we wanna highlight. So first, you'll notice that up here in the top of the liner, you've got the eject helmet removal system ready to go. So that does not come included, you buy it separate on the website. But if you're not familiar with that, what it is, a little baggie called a balloon, but in the event of a crash, if the rider needs to get the helmet off safely, you'd actually just pump that balloon up with air and it will help push the helmet off the rider's head safely. So a very good safety feature that is built in. Again, utilize that, take advantage. Also, we mentioned earlier that this helmet comes ready for a hydration sip tube. Now I'm gonna show you the way that works. So on the inside of the chin bar here on that expanded polypropylene liner, or excuse me, padding we talked about, you can see this groove that is built in inside the helmet. So it's right here on both sides, so you can run the SIP tube on either side of the helmet. So what you do is you just take your SIP tube, you route it up through the helmet, and then the SIP tube will just sit right here in this groove. And what's really cool about this is that when you look at the cheek pads, the cheek pads also have a groove that is built in. So essentially what it does is just sandwiches that SIP tube between the cheek pad and the helmet, and that's gonna hold it in place. So if you have a SIP tube, they've given you that channel to help keep that in place. So very cool. Last thing I wanna mention, and you can tell that with this feature I'm about to talk about, Alpine Stars really thought this through. They thought about all different riding applications. You now have speaker pockets that are cut into this helmet. You can see them right here. They're just inside the helmet. If you run a Bluetooth communication setup and you have speakers that you want to run in your motocross helmet, so maybe for enduro riders or maybe even side-by-side -side riding, I know a lot of riders nowadays like to utilize those. They have these pockets that are pre-cut, so all you'd have to do is just take this little foam insert out, you can put your Bluetooth communication speakers in there, and you're gonna have good fitment with that setup. So again, like I said, a lot of features built into this helmet. You can see also with that EPS liner on the inside, you can see you've got those multiple pieces with those channels cut in, get as much airflow as possible. And there it is. That is the M10, or the SuperTech M10 helmet coming from Alpine Stars. Now I know I just gave you a lot of information, it's a lot to digest, so make sure if you guys have any other questions about this helmet, leave your comments below, we'll help get those answered. And to pick yours up, it's real simple. Just click on the link at the end of this video, head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Remember guys, the order's over 75 bucks ship free. If you like this product spotlight, well do not hesitate, get subscribed to our YouTube channel, and that's gonna keep you up to date and in the loop in the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos that we're constantly rolling out. I am Chase, we'll see you on the trails.